Good day guys, thanks for visiting Richard's Corner. My name is Richard and today I've got some items here from my local value villages here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. If you haven't visited Richard's Corner before, my focus is mostly thrifty collecting. I love going to thrift stores, I love checking out Value Village, Dollarama, Salvation Army, among many other thrift stores in my area. And I basically collect toys and movies and books and clothing and video games, whatever I can find for a much less than retail. So often I'll be showing my items on on the tabletop behind me you get to see some online pricing comparisons and you can be the judge as to whether or not thrifty collecting sort of helps me get ahead and in getting some really cool items for much less than retail or online pricing so today I've, I'm gonna be showing off two little bundles here uh, one for $2.99 that only had two figures in it but they were kind of primo there's a Mighty Ducks figure as well as a Biker Mice from Mars now if you guys don't know about that I'll fill you in uh, on those shows in a moment and these two um, Gargoyles figures for $3.99. Gargoyles, another uh, throwback um, retro cartoon show from my childhood. So these uh, figures really spoke to me as far as finding them on the rack and saying, oh my gosh, those are figures from, you know, things that I've watched before. So I hope you enjoy the reveal and I hope you get, um, you enjoy taking a closer look at what I found. So uh, let's take a look at what I found on my tabletop and compare it to some online pricing. So as you can see, we have my small little haul here laid out on, on, onto my desk here with my awesome uh, haul revealed items in the background there. Um, so um, I'm going to start from the oldest to the uh, most recent. And uh, believe it or not, all of these toys are over 20 years old. So that doesn't make them antique, but they're certainly uh, vintage, I guess, in, in, <laughs> in uh, sort of in loosely, loosely called vintage toys. But um, let's, let's start off. Can you guess which one is actually the oldest toy? Well, if you guess the Biker of Mice from Mars, that would be it. This is actually a 1993 uh, figure. Now, Biker Mice from Mars uh, ran uh, on TV from 1993 through 1996. The synopsis on uh, the Internet Movie Database describes the show as uh, three alien motorcycle riding mice that are forced to leave their home planet of Mars thanks to an evil mining, um, the evil mining Plutar Plutarch. Plutarchians, <laughs> what a name, and uh, they rebel against their enemies on planet Earth in the city of Chicago. So this particular character is actually named Throttle. So he's actually um, one of the good guys, and you can sort of see, uh, obviously, with the antenna that must make him from Mars, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. But uh, I'm going to pull off my ruler here, pull out my ruler here, and just sort of see, give you an idea how tall he is from the bottom of his boots up to his the top of his head, not his antenna. He's about five inches tall. So a 1993 five-inch tall throttle figure from Biker uh, Mice from, uh, from Mars here. So there is articulation in the head. Um, it's, it is, no, it's not a ball joint. Oh, it is a ball joint, yeah. Ball joint shoulder, uh, nice little uh, elbow joint here, and the wrist does not rotate. No torso articulation, and the legs, oh, they do bend at the knee, but not at the ankles. Uh, here at the hip, here, there's a slight ball joint as well. And uh, yeah, so it's a fairly nicely articulated figure for the uh, for for the uh, the age of it. And as you can see in the light there, it's really neatly, um, very over the top kind of character. I mean, 19, the '90s uh, cartoons were really really a little strange. Uh, <laughs> I mean. Uh, sort of like riding off that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle craze. You know, they have Biker Mice from Mars, and they have the Mighty Ducks, and all these other kind of crazy, wacky shows of animals doing superhero kind of things. So uh, you can sort of see the awesome biker vest with his buckle here, nice bandana around his neck, which happens to match his antenna. I love the green shades on him. His neck, cool. <laughs> He's gigantically buff, though. Like, that's, that's amazing muscle detail. Love on the back there that you've got... Um, it's kind of smooth here, but it's got some nice uh, detailing in the in the hair, and the muscles are really nicely done. It looks like there was a tattoo on his arm, but it's kind of faded, so it's been well loved. Obviously, his um, 
mice like tail mouse like tail which is more like a rat than a mouse <laughs> but um i love the uh the 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 contrasting neon green accessories uh molded onto his pants there um there a nice holster here blue uh pants nice um pads for his knees and really awesome biker boots so a really neat figure oh yes of course and a bandana on the on the wrist there and biker gloves or gauntlets i guess so a really awesome throttle figure from 1993 from biker mice from Mars. Really awesome find. So can you guess which one is now the next oldest? If you guessed <laughs> Duke Larange from the Mighty Ducks then you would be correct. This is actually a 1996 figure. Now um, the Mighty Ducks uh, TV show was from 1996 to 1997. Unfortunately it only lasted the one season for 26 episodes. Basically a team of humanoid duck ice hockey uh, playing characters that are also freedom fighters that fight evil between their games. So this is Duke Lorange. <laughs> I love his name. And I love his awesome, um, you know, uh, scope that's mounted on his face there. Um, it's unfortunate. You can sort of see a slot here for an accessory. His, he's supposed to have this really cool fro. Like, a well, not a fro, but a really nice hair haircut. If you play Street Fighter, uh, his hair kind of resembles Guile, that really neat uh, stand-up mohawk kind of looking kind of hair. Uh, so it's unfortunate that he doesn't have any accessories, his gun or his hair, but it still is a really nice figure. Uh, he's not obviously in his hockey mode. This is his adventure mode, right? So um, uh, a little bit of articulation in his forearm here, as you can see his arms do move. No articulation in the elbows, but it, there is articulation in the shoulder and the head. Uh, he does have twisty action in his torso, and um, and legs have limited, are, are, are molded straight, but uh, have articulation in the hips there. So a really cool purple uh, paint scheme here, this jumpsuit, I guess, for lack of a better way of describing him. Um, Really nice uh, Mighty Ducks emblem on the shoulder and really nicely molded. Like, I haven't uh, seen this show in a long, long time. I did watch a few episodes. I didn't watch it as religiously as I could have, but it really does speak to me because I really loved the Anaheim uh, Mighty Ducks movie. Um, and then they offshoot this this really wacky cartoon, and it was actually fairly entertaining. <laughs> so, so this is a Duke Larange, uh, and he was supposed to have a sword, but it, uh, obviously doesn't have a sword here. And uh, but it is a 1996 figure from the Mighty Ducks uh, animated series. Pretty awesome. Well, by process of elimination, obviously the Gargoyles characters are the most recent ones. These were actually released in 1995. Now, these are both, I believe, both of them are Goliath, which is the leader of our Gargoyle clan here. Now, Gargoyles was a um, TV series that lasted from 1994 to 1996, so for two seasons, and basically a clan of heroic night creatures that pledged to protect modern New York the same way they did in Scotland before arriving in uh, our day and age. Or sorry, well, back then. <laughs> and basically, during the day, they are rock statues and at night they come to life and protect the nighttime New York. So uh, against all the evil that happens while everyone's asleep. So Goliath is the leader of the uh, the Gargoyles clan and as you can see the, a very fierce character. Now this one is um, slightly different than a normal um, PVC character here. Uh, he described as Quick Strike Goliath released in 1995 and he's got these unusual um, hinges in the back that you control with your arm here. I can get him focused here. And he he has this really crushing action here, very Hulk-like, and as well as this weird bending action. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the full toy is supposed to look. Uh, he is missing his wings. He usually does have wings in the, uh, in the, uh, sorry, in the, um, in the show. But uh, you can sort of just see this is a very intense figure. Uh, not completely smooth. I love that they put some rock-like texture in his body. Uh, a really fierce looking <laughs> character, as you can see from the light there. Uh, really nice chiseled uh, face there. Really awesome. Um, Awesomely done here, if I can get it to focus here. Uh, really nicely done hair, as you can see. I love that they preserved that kind of rock-like texture in this particular line of figure. Um, minimal details, though. I mean, like, so, so it still sort of represents uh, a, a rock statue uh, without, like, the details that you might see in more, you know, figures that they try to add a little bit more detail because it's actual organic animal versus something that's made out of stone. So love the uh, the sash too here, and uh, 
the, the, the nice belt. Uh, the articulation is strictly within the, the limitations of the, of, the, of the hinges here, the handles. So uh, only arm action here, although the arms are posable, so you can do sort of a crushing kind of action there, or you can do with his arms out, so you can, he can do a crushing action that way. So um, this one's very difficult to stand, unfortunately, but it, uh, so I have to actually lean it against the other Goliath back there, but uh, for him to look, but, but it, as a display piece, this would be really awesome. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come with wings. I have to double check that information online, but a really, really cool um, quick strike Goliath uh, figure from the Gargoyles series here, 1995 figure. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to lay him down. Okay. <laughs> Just so I can take a closer look at it, my second Goliath here. Uh, this one is actually Battle Goliath. And this is a very incomplete piece, unfortunately. Um, there is space for his wings, and, uh, but, and his wings would have, normally have some battle um, armor lining the top of the tips of the wings there. So it's unfortunate that this is a very incomplete figure. So the pricing that I'm showing you on the bottom is actually for a complete figure with all the accessories, um, but this would be worth uh, not, not that much uh, compared to that. However, um, if you look at it, this is a very different figure from the Quick Strike Goliath. You can see that the skin is actually very smooth on this one. The detail is mostly in the accessories that are also molded on him. So uh, really nice detail though. Like I, I love the belt on his, uh, on his uh, waist here. Uh, I love the, um, the leather-like look of the, um, the harness here. And then the, the gauntlet that's, that's, that's mounted here is really neat. Uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to launch something. It might because I feel like there's a release here. So, but I really like the look of it. I love the, the arm, that golden armor look. And uh, it's too bad that he's incomplete. Oh, I love the gauntlets down here too. Really nice. Really nicely detailed actually. Um, because they're standing on their toes though, it, it does make it a little bit tricky to, to stand them up. Uh, I'm actually leaning it against my back backdrop there to make it stand. But uh, this Goliath is, pre is, is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't worry about too much worth for myself. I'm, I, I'm not a flipper, guys. I just love to collect. But if I was trying to collect these kinds of things online, uh, you can sort of see just how much it really costs on eBay, for example. Um, but um, really awesome figure, I think, uh, to conclude uh, this, this smaller Primo haul, uh, 1995 Battle Goliath from the Gargoyles animated series. Pretty awesome. So this is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul reveal and uh, taking a look at some really awesome vintage style figures from Biker uh, Mice from Mars, Gargoyles, as well as the Mighty Ducks. Um, please check out uh, Internet Movie Database links below. I've uh, linked uh, uh, those uh, links below so that you can sort of take a look at uh, the show and some screenshots from, from the show and sort of get an idea of just how retro these really are. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this haul. So I hope you'll hit like and subscribe so that you know what is new and happening at Richard's Corner always. And also hit that little bell notification icon so that you are instantly notified when something new is uploaded on this channel. I really appreciate your visit today, guys. I wish you happy hunting and happy collecting. And I hope that all of your finds, thrifty or otherwise, are equally awesome. Please stay tuned for the next video, guys. I have an exciting announcement as far as a really cool equipment upgrade I'll be picking up very soon. I'll be unboxing some Ren and Stimpy in the very near future, and I've got so many more uh, Value Village and Salvation Army hauls to do. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for visiting Richard's Corner, guys, and we will see you next time. Thanks for visiting Richard's Corner, guys.